Good morning. My name is Kabir Sharma. My name is Leon. My name is Prish. The destination which I have chosen is Dubai. Now, the table of contents. The introduction will be done by Mr. Leon, where uh, after that our group will discuss on main four major factors, after which the presentation will be concluded with a conclusion. So, now, once again, our destination is Dubai. So, I would give uh, introduction, a little bit of introduction to you guys. So, Dubai city is the capital of Dubai Emirates. One of the, one of the seven Emirates uh, constitute to the UAE. But most people recognize that Abu Dhabi is the capital of Dubai, which is true. Secondly, Dubai is the second biggest uh, city in UAE. But it is the most uh, well-known city in UAE as well. Dubai is based in the uh, top 10 wealthiest country in the world, which shows that they have a good economics going on. Dubai is a developed country and it has 3.38 million uh, population. Dubai is also well known for sightseeing place and shopping mall. Now, the global impact. I'll be talking about three main impacts which has impacted Dubai. Environment impacts, economic impacts and obviously the COVID-19. In this, in environmental impacts, I'll be talking about two major threats. Firstly, invasive species. They are the key factor with negative effects on the US biodiversity. Many species enter the region as a result of increasing commercial activity and through illicit trade of wild species. Some plants that can bear the high temperature and salinity that may have been admit, admitted to the country for the landscaping. While other species have been admitted as personal possession. As we know, Dubai is a player, place full of rich, rich people. Now, foreign species expect to cause serious consequences on wildlife. As we can obviously say that uh, in jungle, we can say that black jaguar are tend to, ex to be extinct. So, there are many migratory species and wild animals that can use certain areas of country to spread from. These species include like sea turtles, dodongs, birds of prey and sharks. These species like just like other animals are exposed to various risks that can threaten their ex existence. The second environment impact is limited water sources. The US natural fresh water sources are rarely limited to groundwater. The government is increasingly resorting to distilled uh, desil desalinated water, which has been produced using excess heat from electricity generation. This has caused an impact on marine environment from discharging high concentrated seawater to the Arabian Gulf, etc. Second, now, secondly, we have economic impact. Dubai being the financial and business hub in the, of the United States of Emirates, which is UAE, is far forecast to grow by 4% by 2021, recovering, recovering for project 6.2% contraction this year. The economy was hit hard by the corona, coronavirus outbreak, which hurt is the key tourism, real estate, and trade segments. Dubai Statistics Center said that the economy declined by 10.8% in the first six months of 2020, which was the center's executive director, Mr. Alif Al Mulhai, said was within the expected range of economic contraction given that the mass global economic impact of COVID-19 pandemic. The economy is expected to end the year with 6.2 contraction. Now, lastly, we have the COVID-19. We all know that COVID-19 has changed everything in this world. In the eyes of Dubai, COVID, as of 2019, the total contribution to tourism sector to GDP of the United States of Emirates, again as UAE, equaled up to 11.5%. More than 2.3 million visitors cited business as the main purpose of travel Dubai. As we can see that Dubai every year hosts their Dubai Expo. So many business sectors often travel to Dubai just to witness it. But as of COVID-19, we can say things have changed. The UAE mice 
industry was among the global leaders before the COVID-19 pandemic occurred. As a result of severe quarantine measures, the majority of destinations all over the world introduced COVID-19 related travel restrictions that were valid, valid until May 2020. Like in any other country, the COVID-19 pandemic affected every single industry and especially the tourism. We can say that all that the government is trying every single strategy to recover the tourism sector of the Dubai as tourism sector is a main source of revenue for the government. Well, we can say that the survival can be said as insufficient effort. Mr. Leon will be talking about the impact of the hospitality and the tourism industry in a positive and a negative way. Now I would like to talk about positive and negative impact on the hospitality and tourism industry in Dubai. First of all, attraction places such as shopping mall, modern place and ancient places. Modern places like Burj Khalifa and Heritage Village. These places can attract people from around the world to visit Dubai, which lead to more tourism, use hospitality industry in the Dubai, such as hotel and, and restaurant. Next one is uh, increase in revenue. Every year between 21 to 23 million tourists are expecting to visit Dubai. By the year of 2025, the number of tourists will increase up to 23 to 25 million tourists, which can lead to increasing of uh, in revenue in many hospitality including tourism. Job opportunities. There will be an event called Expo 2020 in Dubai, which will now be happening in 2021 due to the delay of the COVID-19. This uh, global event will increase job opportunity because it is a very large event, which people around the world will know about this, and they will come to visit the event. Lastly, number of tourists in each month. What I mean by that is, number of tourists in each month in Dubai, uh, in every month of the year, there will be the same number or similar number of tourists coming to visit the place, different places in Dubai, which show that they have a stable economics of hospitality industry in Dubai. Now, I would like to draw your attention to negative impact of Dubai on hospitality and tourism again. Expensive construction. Dubai have been investing in many facilities to expand the, the in, in um, hospitality industry market, which contain a very expensive construction. Uh, as you may already know that uh, Burj Khalifa is one of the tallest buildings in the world, which can be really high cost. Next one is uh, culture difference. Tourists who are not used to culture difference resorting of bad behavior. Even though they are not meant to do that, but their culture is different from the Dubai people. For example, tourists who wear inappropriate clothing such as swimming red. They can be rather than walking in the, in the middle of the city or drinking too much alcohol. Rubbish. Many people will be concerned why do I put rubbish, rubbish in, my, um, in the Dubai. As you guys may already know that Dubai is a perfect country to live. But due to many tourists uh, are arising every year, uh, there will be an increasing of litter can cause a bad impact on tourism industry as it's called attraction as it can cause attraction places to have a bad site. Lastly, air pollution happened because of the increasing in transportation in Dubai. In addition, the more tourists visiting the Dubai, the more industry are expanding, especially hospitality industry and tourism on to Mr. Chris and he will talk about the economic benefit from Okay. Now we're talking about the economic benefit from global impact. First of all, like Emirates of Dubai as an international trade hub, global relations, city, economic freedom, and the right strategic policy, 
rapid modernization of infrastructure have made Dubai a prosperous and stable place. <coughs> the second, the employment figure and rising per capita income and diversification of market structures make Dubai one of the leading urban <coughs> economy in the world with a 3.1 percent growth in 2017. <coughs> And in 2016-2017, uh, the World Economic Forum ranked the, the UAE uh, 16 of our 138 economies in, in the world. Yeah. <coughs> uh, and in 2017, Dubai became a tech metropolis with massive urban infrastructure pro project and a global workforce, a larger mar market of will with a diverse range of revenues spanning for sale and retail trade, transportation, media, manufacturing, agriculture, real estate, construction, and tourism. Um, most aspects of uh, is the development of central of Dubai, which include the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa, and Chris. Fabian, now we will pass it to Noon. Hello everyone, I'm Sutasini or Noon. For my part, I'm going to present on how the hospitality and tourism industry has changed or affected to the local community. The first impact that I want to tell you which is local community have to move. For example, a big investor in Dubai want to have a big project in the business area. The investor might negotiate them by paying them as a compensate to let them to move to the another area. The second impact which is migrant foreign workers conflict. As you know, Dubai is a very strict religion. So it it can might it might be conflict between uh, the local people and the foreign worker who came from the many country with a different cultures. For example, how they dress up, how they be behave in the public, or different opinions. Thirdly, it can be loss of cultural heritage, and it can be loss of natural health as well for example the the tourists go to the beach and they throw the the plastic in the beach it can destroy the environment there as well lastly lastly is the local economy this this topic is a really good impact because of the tourists dis distribute the tourism income to a local community. And it's also increased a chance for local to find a job. Thank you. We would like to say now that not every city is perfect in this world. Dubai, being one of the most tourist attractors, actually attracts around 21 to 23 million tourists per year. Is actually, you can say that the Dubai's government Main, the Dubai government's main source of revenue is tourism sector and as COVID-19 has affected all of our lives it has also affected the tourism sector the most so the government just to, need, just to regain its main source of revenue is trying to change Dubai's face by launching new schemes to get back tourists for example safety precautions then we have uh, uh, health forms where the tourist has to actually put some health form to not hang coronaviruses. By these measures, we can say that the government is trying to do to trying to do something with tourism sector to regain its hope to attracting back more tourists. Now, now, these are the references that help us to make a made a presentation. Thank you for listening. Oh, shukrahan. <laughs>